The European Parliament's two hard-right groups could join to form a bloc. That's the prediction of Anders Vistesen, who's been fronting the far-right group of parties' campaign ahead of the European elections. Speaking with Euronews, Vistesen said that there is no real political divide between his Identity and Democracy party, which includes Marine Le Pen's Rassemblement National, and the less hardline European Conservatives and Reformists, which includes Giorgia Meloni's Fratelli d'Italia. There is no more political divide between the ID and the Israel and what you can see within the EPP, the SND or the Renew parties, for instance. So could you see those two right-wing groups reorganizing themselves, particularly after the elections? Could you see a possible unification of those two groups? Yeah, I think you'll see that someday. You already have it in the Council of Europe, where the two groups have uh, merged together in a, in a dual party. Um, I think maybe not um, just after this election, but I think the, the, French the French presidential elections that are coming up in a couple of years could be uh, a point in time that is very interesting to look forward to. Vistesen spoke hours before a crisis erupted within his party. Marine Le Pen's team said their party would no longer sit with Germany's AFD over damning comments made by their lead election candidate Maximilian Kra, claiming Nazi SS members were not all criminals. Kra has since been banned from campaigning. Another AFD candidate is facing allegations he was paid by Russia to spread pro-Kremlin propaganda. Vistesen himself was interviewed earlier this year by Voice of Europe, the news company now sanctioned by the EU, suspected of being at the heart of the Russian influence operation. You gave a one-on-one -on -one interview to Voice of Europe earlier this year. Were you paid for that interview? No, of course not. That interview was set up at the same premise as this interview. I was asked to give um, an interview and I obliged. Um, that's my job as a politician. But it is um, worrisome that this um, outside influence is also generally used to spread misinformation about the right. I have an impeccable re record when it both come to being firm on Russia, firm on China. But despite these multiple scandals, Vistesen's European party is surging in the polls and could compete to become the parliament's third biggest force. The other right-wing group, the ECR, has consistently rejected a potential merger. You can watch the full interview on Euronews' Global Conversation.